Hey, what's up Decisive Marketers? And in this video, we're going to be doing a deep dive between Snow, Sales Rocks and Sales Bling Drip Campaign features. Okay, in my previous video, in my previous video, I've already shared with you that, um, let me just kind of open slides over here. In my previous video, I've already shared with you that, uh, uh, a comparison between Tomba, Snow, Sales Bling, and Sales Rocks, right? So uh, a lot of people are still thinking, you know, uh, could should I grab Sales Bling? Should I stick with Sales Rocks, or uh, and so on? So I'm I'm just going to make a, a, a comparison, uh, specifically on what Sales Bling does best, which is the drip campaigns. Okay, but take note of take note that if you want to be using Sales Bling. There is actually no uh, email warming feature right now. Same goes for Snow. There's no email warming feature right now. Uh, it's much recommended that uh, you get a email warmer to go with any of these tools because that will help you to reach the inbox better. And if you are using Sales Rocks, it already has an email warmer which you can already kickstart. So right now I'm going to show you the difference between uh, these three tools. So let's get going. So let's take a look at Snow first. So this is the drip campaign uh, uh, dashboard over here. So we can see that they have four different modules here. We got an email, we got trigger, we got delay, we got go here. All right. So uh, firstly, let's look at the email over here and one thing very interesting that they have is a add variant feature so you can actually do an A-B testing with Snow and you can send out different emails and see which works better for you okay and with uh, the trigger function you are able to uh, trigger based on open clicks or unopens right so which is no unopens okay then we have uh, delay and go Go is more for, you know, uh, to track if you are achieving your goals, that's all. And we have Sales Rocks, and you will see that they only have three modules here. They only have Email, uh, Condition, and Delay. And uh, we can only track based on Open, Unopen, and Clicked. So these are the three different conditions that we can track based on, uh, based on whether the prospect uh, did or did not okay so the, then let's look at sales bling over here the first thing that they have is that they have five different templates for you to choose from to get started immediately okay but what we're going to do right now is we're going to click uh, start from scratch and let's look at some of the blocks that they have they have an email block they have a call block they have a linkedin message block they have a linkedin request block okay so because it's omni channel you can Make a you can make calls. You can use LinkedIn to reach out to them as well, right? And then we've got delay, and we got email open, email click. Okay, so this is similar to Sales Rocks and uh, Snow already. But what they have here is an email reply. So you could trigger the next step if you receive a reply in the email. We've got call status. You got LinkedIn message reply, LinkedIn request accepted. Okay, so a lot of blocks over here, and the last one will be change the CRM stage. So a lot of blocks that we can work with over here uh, with Sales Blink. Okay, so the cool thing about you uh, Omni Channel is that if you can't reach the person via email, you can still try and send them a LinkedIn message or send uh make make a call to them, right? So that's with sales bling. Okay. So the first thing is, uh, why do you want to have? Uh, in my opinion, I find that the email reply condition is very powerful. And why do you want to make use of that? So let's say you are doing paid guest posting outreach. So I'm just talking about SEO right now. Okay. Let's let's use a different example. Let's use uh, if you are trying to get a appointment. Okay. You're trying to get an appointment. Uh, f with a prospect so the first thing is the new prospect comes in you send them an email uh, you know hi I'm Henry uh, I checked out your website it sucks right uh, do you want us to help you with it 
Okay, then you have a email reply. Okay, you have an email reply, and and likely if the person is going to reply, they are keen on what you are have what you have to offer, right? They are interested in hearing more to what you have to offer. So now the next step is uh, we're going to send another email that says, "Okay, that's great. Could you uh, book a meeting on my calendar with, and we can schedule a time so that we can speak, and I could share with you more on how you can improve your website to get more leads or sales." Okay, so then you send an email. Then at this point, uh, what you can do is you can have a uh, you could maybe do a link click if you want to and if they click on the booking calendar you can then trigger a change in the CRM stage and so that uh, you know demo schedule and you can uh, you know speak to the to the uh, person right so this is this where you track who are you who are you going to be meeting okay so this is why the email reply feature is actually so powerful right let's say we put in another scenario right so we are going to be doing paid guest post outreach so we send an email say hey could we guest post on your website and then we get a reply and likely the reply is going to say okay uh guest post sure 50 dollars right and then we'll send an email saying that hey this is too expensive right my boss is not going to accept this uh, could you see if you can do a better price so that we can move along with the guest posting opportunity right then uh, he replies saying okay uh, I'll give you $35 for a guest post and then you send an email and say okay that is that is great right $35 that sounds much better but we are going to send uh, six guest posts for you to be published could you see if you can give us a bulk discount okay and then uh, at this point this is when you you if you get a reply here then you could then trigger a change in the CRM stage right so can you see that the email reply is is actually uh, very powerful because then you don't have to step in so quickly so early in the stage right so that all the lead generation is done for you all the filtering all the lead generation is done for you and you come in just to close the sale you come in just to close the sale if you are using sales rocks or you're using snow uh, basically what you're doing is you're just sending out emails after emails if they don't if they don't uh, uh, reply basically if they don't you're just sending out emails after emails uh, just hoping that something happens right so that's not really uh, I would say that uh, you have to come in very quickly whenever there's a reply right whereas with sales bling you can automate some of the replies Okay, we can automate some of the replies and only jump in the the uh, the process, the sales process, uh, at a later stage. So that's the difference. Uh, I would say that with Sales Bling, you are able to free up a, a little bit more of your time with Sales Rocks, with uh, Snowf. You're not, uh, you know, you're not able to. You're just sending emails after emails if they don't reply. Okay, so <coughs> I hope that you guys see the difference between Sales Bling, Sales Rocks, and Snow, right? And if you enjoyed this video, please uh, click the like button, uh, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. And if you feel that someone could benefit from this video, please share this with them. And I'll see you in my next video.